What is going on everybody, Fluxo here and welcome to this week's video where we're going to be going through five advanced building aesthetic techniques that I think can really take your builds to the next level. This was something that was requested quite heavily and when I asked you guys in the Copper Industries video if you wanted to see it, a hell of a lot of you did actually get back to me and said that you would so I really do appreciate those who make the time to give me feedback as it does help a lot. I hope at least one if not all of these techniques inspire you enough to give them a try. Can't thank you all enough for the support that you guys have been showing. I'll keep doing my best as long as you keep enjoying the content. Leading on from that, if you do enjoy this video, let me know via the likes, the comments, or maybe even consider subscribing if you do want to see more content like this on a weekly basis. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Love you guys loads. Let's go. Okay, so starting off with our horizontal grid, what we want to do first is set our level. I usually go four one meter foundations high. Once you have set your level, lay your first foundation for the bottom of the grid. Next, we want to change our fix it roof to tar roof, then select your flat roof piece and using the level, place your flat roof pieces to each one meter foundation. When you're happy with the height of your grid, take your one meter foundation and place that over the top. Then remove your level and change your top and bottom foundation to asphalt. I usually then paint that foundation black as this will make whatever color you paint your tar roof pieces stand out a whole lot more. Lastly, select the desired colour for your grid itself and paint the roof pieces. From there, you can follow the process to the length you needed to go. I personally find this technique very useful for trimming the top and bottom of builds, giving your build a different texture and an overall nice finish. Moving on to our beam studded wall, we first want to take our foundation and place that into the beamed wall. We then take our road barrier and center that just in front of the beam. From there, we find our one meter wall and by holding control, we replace the road barrier with the one meter wall. After that, take your four meter sign, center that to the one meter wall and place that down. Then remove your one meter wall and foundations, leaving you with just the reverse sign. Following on from there, place the signs all the way down to the point you desire and then remove the signs that are overlapping the beams. Lastly, use a sign to line up the next row and repeat the process until the beam wall is covered and you are happy with the placement. I mainly use this technique to bring together corners and other areas that need a fortified and structured look. For our gridded concrete wall, we want to start by selecting our road barrier and then centering that barrier to the foundation.
From there, we will align multiple road barriers next to each other until we reach the other end. After that, we want to take our 4 meter concrete wall, and by holding control, we can replace all the road barriers with the concrete wall. Then continuing to use our 4 meter wall, we fill in any remaining height to the gridded wall. I then finish off using the concrete pillars to give some edging and depth to the grid itself. I tend to use these grids to add different textures to builds, but mainly use them to create a water gate for any in-game flowing water. For our pillar in case lifts, we simply just take our small metal pillar and place either side of each lift. Then taking our small concrete pillar, we fill in the remaining gaps. From there, we add our detailing. I usually do this by adding simple lights using signs. I then use the gridded floor patterns and then top the whole thing off with modern railings and beam connectors either side to add some additional sign lighting. I often use this technique to expose belt flow in builds to make the builds feel more alive as well as giving it structure and different texture. For our cut in horizontal wall, we simply take our one meter wall and stack it to our desired height. We then change the fixed foundation to asphalt, removing the infill foundation to create our gap. Then we trim the outside with our one meter wall. And there we take our 1 meter ramp wall and place it angling down. We then fill in the remaining gapping with 1 meter wall. I used to use this technique when building long distance walls as it breaks up the wall and gives it shape and depth. 
But that is that guys, five main advanced building techniques that I use on a daily basis. I hope one, if not all of these techniques can help you guys add depth and texture to your builds. If you do like the video, make sure you drop a like or a comment down below. I appreciate every single one of you being here. Thank you so much for the support. As for myself, I'll catch you all in the Discord.